Right then, let's get to some analysis on that particular story. Daniel Wenges joins us from Washington in Farai Makatu, of course, CCTV's correspondent in Zimbabwe. He's live in the capital, Harare, then. That's exactly where we start. Farai, with you. What reaction has there been to the U.S. position on not lifting sanctions on ZMDC? Well, I think there was no real expectation from the government that that would happen. They were under no illusions. But the stance of the government here remains the same, and that is these sanctions are illegal, they're hurting the economy, and they must go. Rama. Indeed. Uh, Daniel, coming over to you in Washington, the fact of the matter here really is that the EU has been moving way ahead of the transatlantic partners. Has there been any reaction in Washington to the EU's move to lift sanctions on ZMDC? Not a whole deal of reaction. I think the U.S. position at the moment, if you look at the State Department's behavior, has been that they're sort of assessing what's going on in Zimbabwe, taking a more conservative view. I think that's partly reflective of the fact that the bandwidth for foreign relations here and making major policy decisions has been taken up by the crisis in Syria, the debate uh, on the Iran sanctions. And so... Uh, I think now you're probably likely to see some policy movements from the U.S. State Department, given that uh, a senior State Department official is going to go to Zimbabwe. As for civil society here, I think that it will depend on your interpretation, particularly of the recent elections and the legitimacy of the ZANU-PF-led government and what you think about Robert Mugabe's attempts for reform. Those who are still critical will say that uh, relaxing sanctions, particularly on diamonds, will not do any good for the country because the wealth will go to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is still, I think, a degree of hope that some of the reforms will take root and that the EU is in some way testing the waters for ah. a, a real change in diplomatic approach going forward. Indeed. Uh, Farai, the EU is essentially lifting, or rather did lift sanctions on ZMDC all the way back in September. Since then, have any diamond sales taken place? And if so, how much money has been raised? Where has it gone? Not yet. Uh, there haven't been any diamond sales as yet uh, and unlikely to, ha to, to happen within this year. Uh, an industry player I spoke to indicated that in the new year, definitely by June 30th, that may have happened. I think it's also important to note that there is need to work around the logistics of getting those diamonds to uh, uh, markets in Europe and getting the money back to Zimbabwe. Those U.S. sanctions mean that whatever payments are destined to Zimbabwe are intercepted in the U.S. So that's one thing that they need, certainly need to work around. So at this point, no diamond sales as yet, but certainly in the new year. And we know that there have been, been buyers from Antwerp most recently and other European markets in the country expressing the demand that they have. There is an interest, but no sales as yet, Rama. Indeed, interest, but no, sa no sales as yet. Daniel, finally, to you in Washington. We talk about sanctions on Zimbabwe in very general terms, but are there specific things that the American administration is looking for that will then qualify as a trigger for those sanctions that he has imposed in Zimbabwe right now to be lifted? Absolutely. There are 113 individuals and 70 entities that are sanctioned. I think they will be looking at some of those individuals to see if their behavior has changed. But certainly I think there's a degree of skepticism in Washington and they'll have to prove very strongly that the behavior and the way that the money is being handled, the transparency of diamonds and other natural resources is much better. I think then you'll start to see movement. But I think that this will be based on an evidence-based basis and they'll be starting to see what progress is being made during the visit that's expected uh, in early December. Back to you. Indeed. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for Rai Makatu in Harare and Daniel Rangers in Washington. Thank you very much for your time this evening.